And our top story this hour, the first ever Quad Leaders Summit has concluded in the face of growing economic competition from China. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration is now putting greater emphasis on the Indo-Pacific region. Biden has been stressing the need for cooperation on China since he joined office. At a post-meet briefing, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that the virtual meeting has been described as historic by the leaders. Sullivan also said that while China was not a primary focus of the meeting, the Quad countries restrained relation, Quad countries strained relation with Beijing, of course, did come up. discuss the challenge posed by China. And they made clear that none of them have any illusions about China. But today was not fundamentally about China. Much of the focus was on pressing global crises, including the climate crisis and COVID-19. And with respect to COVID-19, these four leaders made a massive joint commitment today. With Indian manufacturing, U.S. technology, Japanese and American financing, and Australian logistics capability, the Quad committed to delivering up to 1 billion doses to ASEAN, the Indo-Pacific, and beyond by the end of 2022. Now, the Quad has announced plans to expand coronavirus vaccine manufacturing capacity in India in an effort to expand production and promote access to vaccine in the Indo-Pacific region. India will now manufacture at least 1 billion more COVID-19 vaccine doses by the end of next year. The manufacturing will be backed financially by Japan as well as the U.S. International Development Finance Cooperation, which provides funding for projects in developing countries. Australia will contribute another 77 million US dollars to ensure vaccines are not only delivered but administered in Southeast Asia. This will be in addition to an earlier commitment of a whole uh, of 407 million US dollars. Japan in turn will provide 41 million dollars for distribution of the vaccines which requires careful climate control. And according to the joint statement released by the White House after the virtual summit, an in-person meeting has also been decided between the four nations, which will be held by the end of 2021. The countries have also pledged to work to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific region. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Principal Diplomatic Correspondent Siddhan Sibbal. Siddhan, thank you so much for joining us. Overall, how do you assess this first Quad meet and the topics that were discussed in this meet? Well, the first uh, Quad leader meet uh, basically focused on two key points. One, of course, practical cooperation. Another, to send a message to Beijing. If we talk about practical cooperation, it is uh, the outcome on COVID vaccines that is uh, 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 an outcome of making sure that there is some kind of uh, uh, not only cooperation but outcome of uh, this uh, virtual uh, meeting uh, the vaccines that will be produced one billion vaccines will uh, that will be produced at the heart of this will be india's manufacturing capabilities and we know uh, the announcements which have been made uh, overnight from White House, from uh, their, 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 their companies as well in terms mm. of what will go on here in India. The money will be provided by the, uh, the Japanese, uh, by the Australians in terms of logistical supplies as well. And these vaccines will be provided to countries in the Indo-Pacific starting with uh, the countries in Southeast Asia, the mm. ASEAN grouping. So clearly a message being sent in terms of cooperation in that terms, but also when it comes to uh, the mention of free and open Indo-Pacific, that clearly means that if China tries to be aggressive, tries to violate the international order, yes. it will face a backlash. Yes, I was going to come to that actually. Joe Biden's administration has stressed on this enough, I think, at this point. And also all the countries... All the four countries involved in this have had their own set of issues with China. What can we expect in that regard now? Well, uh, 
this meeting the fact that this meeting has happened is uh, a big signal for beijing because uh, just few weeks ago nobody could have expected the quad hmm. leaders uh, meeting we know that there were some kind of reservations from new delhi and uh, of course india shares a long border with china so irking china was something that was a no go area for many countries but yeah. the quad has met this is a new geopolitical reality we know that the first in person a uh, physical summit is expected to take place later this year perhaps on the sidelines of the G7 summit mm -hmm. in United Kingdom even though Washington is keen uh, to hold the first in person summit so clearly China has to deal with a new set of uh, powers here in Indo Pacific and if it tries to engage in, engage in aggressive behavior just like with India last year or with Japan or trade uh, tiff with Australia or US then of course uh, it will be in hot waters All right Sidhan thank you so much for joining us with all those details Beyond is now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move